right, we're here with Chris Alberg of Recorded Future, and Chris today at the Security Analyst Summit did an interesting talk on finding patterns in hacker forums and trying to correlate some of that data to find out uh, what's going on. So maybe from a high level, can you kind of explain some of your research in that respect? Yeah, absolutely. So the idea is that in, when hackers, or criminals if you want, actually change their handles as they go about. You know, it's sort of a lot of attribution today is otherwise based on a, you know, again, a, an actor of some sort keeping the same handle. And, you know, that's all dead and uh, all good, but if they don't, that becomes hard. So we instead need to look at their pattern of life, try, try to understand how they behave and use that to identify potential uh, leads into, you know, who's actually the same. Sure. So what are some of the uh, the things that make up those patterns of life, as you mentioned? So, you know, we will, in this research, we looked at uh, activity uh, in these forums on, you know, basically from a, what days they're active as well as what hours they're use, uh, active and what sort of content they're focusing on in, in that activity and using our natural language processing as a way to build a data set of that activity. So there, are these really deep web kind of forums you're looking at? How, you know, how do you guys apply this? Oh, good. So we we collect the data from you know both what you know, people would call dark web and deep web, sure. and, and to be honest, just clear web as well. But from across the board, from you know deep deep forums or whatever you want to call them, to to uh, more more plain places as well. And that's actually part of what you want to do. You want to because m many people might have accounts over here, but they'll have something here. And if I can start putting these things together, now goodness will happen. And it, it helps illustrate you know, a picture of, of who's behind some of these activities. Do you see any differences across the board from, you know, wherever they're operating from? Yeah, you, okay, so, so you'll obviously, if you mean geo, from a geography point of view, yes. you've obviously got to keep geography in mind right. as you look at this, and, and, you know, sometimes that can be hard, you know, so if you have a Chinese forum, you know, that will probably help you understand that this is a pretty strong, you know, simple cohort that you're dealing with, maybe Russia will be the same, Russian forum, like Russian language forums will be the same, with language, English language forums, that might be harder, or, you know, Arabic and, and so on, so now you have to sort of be a little bit more careful about how you draw conclusions. Whereas Iran would be the inverse. Now you're looking at a very tight sort of mm -hmm. cohort of people. So, tell me the, the practical applications. What's the output of this, and, and you know what kind of picture can you paint? So you know, I think the practical output of this is that you know, so a this is research, so we yeah. just started, and but the, the practical output of this is that when you're doing attribution work and you're trying to identify who some of these are and you're struggling because it's one thing if you start off and you see ugly gorilla and da 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 and he's sort of all over the place, but you you sit there and actually that first domain name registration that you have you don't see it anywhere else. Yeah. Now where do I go? And uh, so now you want to start seeing like what other sort of uh, handles could this person have sure. been using elsewhere? That is probably one of the best use cases. So we've always heard like an ugly gorilla, as you mentioned, is a, is a hacker handle. They're mm -hmm. they're all silly, but you know we always hear that these guys are very protective of these handles and they want to use them everywhere. And that necessarily isn't the case, right? I think that was the thing that sort of was surprising to me that you know you you have some of them obviously want to do that because they're building. You have the, some criminals who want to do it because they're building a criminal business as sure. part of building their business. It's important to have that you know the you know the stature that might come from that. The other one is just you know people are they want to be proud, they want to be strong, and you know, just to sort of paint, paint themselves in a cool cool way. The other one is probably plain laziness also, you know, the other way going on. The more surprising one is those, the Chinese ones that are, you know, these are, you know, supposedly Chinese military, and you'd figure that they have better programs for, yeah. for persona management, but it's seemingly not. Maybe now they all do, right. so then this sort of research becomes really important. What can you tell me, I mean, without taking a hugely deep dive into the math behind it, what can you tell me about the correlation and some of the, the dots you connect? Yeah, yeah, no, so, so based on simple correlation analysis, so you look for these sort of pattern of life you know, curves, if you want to call sure. them that, or, or, you know, call them whatever you want, but we'll call them curves, and, and just looking at for, for correlation, strict, uh, simple correlation uh, b between the two. There's multiple ways you could, you know, calculate that. You could, uh, so so fairly simple math actually. The tricky part is once you have a whole bunch of those and figuring out how you manage it, and I, that's where sort of visualization together with the math mm -hmm. becomes important because now your brain can sort of, you know, look at some of this and say, you know what, that's dispurious, or yeah, we should dive into that, right. and then go back it up with other sources where you start looking looking at the content, we're looking at potentially third-party sources to say, yeah. yeah, this is actually interesting. 
So that's a good point. So, I mean, you've, you've spoken a lot about personal behaviors, what time they work, uh, you know, what holidays they take off, things like that. Um, can you extend this to their actual hacking behavior, for lack of a better term? You could absolutely start looking at, you know, if, if you actually know that some of these handles have been in, involved in activity, whether it's playing good old criminal stuff or in, in cyber attacks, of ver you know, whatever sort of attacks, you know, when you start looking at those events, you know, looking at lead-ins to those events or following those events, right. absolutely. So, you you know, the, the picture just gets bigger and yeah. bigger. This this research was pretty narrow in its focus on just that, the correlation of pattern of life analysis. And, and just to be clear, you can focus this down to specific handles, yeah. How, yeah. no matter how many people yeah. are behind yeah. it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, and, and then it's all in the data, whether, you know, somebody might have done, you know, somebody will be sort of sloppy and you could find, you know, make it really easy on you. Sure. The good guy, he probably wakes up in the morning and rolls the die on, say, telling him what hour he should be active. Right. And that's the way to beat it, but, you know, starting the morning and rolling that die, that's, that's sort of a... So as a last question, last set of questions, what can a, a white hat do with that research or law enforcement? Obviously there's, there's all different usages for this data. Yeah, no, so I think again, if you're, whether you're a, a, a white hat researcher or law enforcement, when you're in that scenario where you have, you're, you're not finding that ugly gorilla guy or CPYY or whatever that is sort of plastered all over, this is the place where you could go to work. Now, this is, you know, you got to have the collection of the data, you got to be able to analyze it and visualize it, and this is not push a button yet. So yeah. for now, we're, this is research and right. we'll figure out how to productize it. All right, good stuff. Thanks for joining me, Chris. Thank <laughs> you.